Welcome to the continuing lesson on Ngigo, how to write. Um, in most cases, what has happened is that when lecturers come to class and they tell you that, so when you are doing research, what you do is that you read through the article and then you pick up the facts like we have been doing. And then what you do is that you review the literature and all that. But you realize that after you're going to sit down there, and then you are reviewing the so-called review the literature. Then you are faced with the practicality of how to do it. So we have been talking all over. Pick up the facts. You can pick up statements and then rephrase the idea and all those things. So we want to see rephrase idea. Let's see if rephrase idea is also a very easy thing like that. The question is, why do you need to rephrase the idea? In these days, uh, we are saying that yes, you read the facts of people, statements of people. And then you synthesize it. That means you should be able to synthesize that word that we have been using synthesize. You should be able to understand what the people are trying to communicate. And then you put it in your own words. So that it doesn't become more or less like you are just, uh, what do you call it, saying what somebody has said. But you are saying them in your own words. That is in scientific writing, of academic writing. What we are interested in is that you are writing a story based on what? Facts. Hello? Uh -huh. You are writing a story based on facts. Like we said, uh, what do you call it, in the earlier days, where we could copy somebody's whole work and then dump it in our work and then we go scot free. And this day and age, it has become very, very crucial that you cannot plagiarize, okay? Plagiarism simply means stealing somebody's idea, academically or literal works. So what happens is that when you steal somebody's work, even in a setting it has happened. Now, even if you do it today and you go scot free and get a certificate and go scot free, tomorrow, when it is found out, it could be a big issue. Your certificate could be withdrawn. There are people who are even been contesting for precedents and stuff and because they were found to have plagiarized in the academic records. There was a minister there in was, Germany. Yeah, there was a minister in Germany. She has to resign. Are you getting it? Yeah, in Ghana, we have had some issues and that the politics and the things around that. So even if you get away with it today, tomorrow it could be an issue. And more so in this day and age, it's becoming even more difficult to get, uh, what do you call it, off with some of these things. So the best way you have is to just do the right thing. There are a lot of softwares on the net uh, that you can use to check for plagiarism. Uh, Tenetin, like we know, is one of the popular ones that is available with Tenetin. Though we don't have it here, it's a proprietary software, so you need to subscribe to that. What happens is that if you put any literal work through Tenetin, it will try and then bring you out some risk and then we'll be showing for each of the papers that you have taken things out of them. You'll be giving percentages out of them. Now, another of them that is available for free is, uh, what do you call it, the Viper. So if you can see here, uh, you can just go to the net and then just type in Viper. Uh, like if you're on the net, like you can even just go to Google and then uh, Viper plagiarism scanner, yeah. You can just go to google.com and then you get a link to the place to just uh, download and then install. So what you need is to create an account with them. So if you create an account and after you install it, you have this icon that is whatever you want it to stay. So you have this red Viper icon there. So for example, if I have this uh, what do you call it? In order for you to look at it, I sign in as this. 
um, and my password is this. I think this. I'm not seeing your password. You're not seeing my password. Don't worry. I will show it to you later. So if I sign in like that, that is after you are finished installing. The, 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 the instructions are easy for you to follow to do the installation if you want to. Um, is our net okay today? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. If the net is okay, then that is what you get. So this is the interface for the Viper uh, anti plagiarism scanner. Uh, it's free, but it has limitations. It gives you a certain number of scans that you can do. With it, but with your works as students and stuff, it should be enough space for you to do that. So, for example, if I want to scan for any document, I just go to Add. And when I come to Add, it gives me another interface, and I go back to Add. Now, I choose the particular document that I'm interested in. So, for example, let's say if I've chosen this one, like this, okay? And then I open it. So it means it comes added to this one. Okay, so when it comes here, I choose the category of uh, what do you call it? Subject. Subject area. So this particular thing that I've chosen is health. So I go to choose health and I click on OK. So if I do that and now come and click here to scan, it will start scanning. And then when you finish the scan, they generate a report for me. Normally, to save the reports at uh, the same place where the this thing is, the document is. So let's quickly go to some of the areas where we can find the reports. Um, the net is making it a little slow as well. Okay, okay. So, if we are here, in order to hasten uh, what we are doing, I know what I have to kill this, so let's follow it easily. Okay, so it was found here. So you see, the reports will be generated like that. So the same name that the document bears. That is the same name that the document. So that was, I picked lead two, right? Yeah. So the report for lead two is this one. So if you open the report for lead two, this is what we expect. Okay, let's use this one. Yeah, it's now that a report has actually come. So if you say generate reports, you just click on generate reports and then the reports will come. So you just click on okay. But I'm just using the one that exists for other reports in order for us to move faster. Okay, so for this particular document that was scanned, you realize that matching content alone was what? 66%. Yeah, 66%. That is the matching content. That is the unique matching content. And you realize that it has highlighted the places where those listings are coming from unique places. Now, you realize every part that is a yellow means that that thing has been taken out from somewhere. And then if you click on that yellow, it will actually take you to the link. <laughs> so it will take you to the link side where that particular document is. <laughs> so where you pick this one, you can get the link here. So the person that is interested in checking what you have done could easily find out where you pick those things in and know where whatever and what you have done. So it's easy for these days to check on some of these things. So if the whole of this thing is coming from one person's work, look at them, then virtually you realize that the person was just picking the works and then just posting up there. Now, the way to go is that you see, but uh, I must caution that you should use these plagiarism softwares with care. Now, the whole idea is that you pick up somebody's idea you should be able to reference the person. But the software is not interested whether you reference the person or not. Mm -hmm. The software is just giving you the margins of this, that in your document, against document that it can what it can find. So you, the person that is using this software to be able to do this thing, you actually, uh, what do you call it, look at what is going on. So 
has the person actually referenced the statement that supposedly he has picked? Yeah. Are you getting it? Right. So you should look at each of them in its context. So if you look at it and it is just too little, little for you or something, that one you have a comment. But what I've realized people do is that they only base on the percentage and use it as the conclusion. So you say if yours go beyond 20%, that means the work is not accepted. Then yeah. this one is thrown away. Yeah, this one is thrown away. But you should be able to look at it in a context whether the person have duly referenced the person that he took those things from. But like I'm saying, now we have moved out from copying people's ideas and quoting them verbatim. But taking those ideas, read them, understand them, synthesize them, and then reproduce them in your own words, language. Watching grammar and then what? Content. Yeah. So those are the things that we have moved into doing. Hello? Hi. Yeah, so those are the things we have moving to do. But even after you have taken the idea from the person and then you have done uh, the, 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 what do you call it, the paraphrasing, you still have to credit the person that you took the list from. You don't say because you have paraphrased and then now written it in your own words. So that becomes your, what do you call, your original this idea. Since the idea is still coming from something, so you have to what? Reference that person. All right. So we're going to go through a little bit of paraphrasing skills. We are going to attempt ourselves. Pick things at random and then try to paraphrase. So we pick things at random and then each of us will try and then paraphrase it in his own words. And then we will try and see how easy or how hard uh, it could become when it comes to what? Doing the things that sometimes you use our mouth in saying. Saying paraphrase makes it very easy, but doing it sometimes could be very difficult. Right. So there are a few aids also that you can get your hands into. But the, the, the problem is with our lecturers and our supervisors that are actually delivering uh, what you call research maps. What happens is that they just take the percentage and when they see the percentage, they reject or accept. We are supposed to use it with guides, seriously. If you read how Viper itself works, they have something here. And it is like that with all the other, uh, other uh, 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 plagiarism software. This is how it works. So you can see that from here, it's saying that is the material an entire quote, a sentence or fragment of four to five words often found together. So if it is four to five words of an, uh, coming from somebody's work, then it will highlight it. Uh, Are you getting it? Yeah, then it will highlight it. So Viper will show a match where there is a string of what, five or more words that are the same as your work. Your work. So if you have five or more words, four, five or more words together that are the same as your work, it will what? It will highlight it. That is the match. And that is what you use in doing the calculation. Okay, so if you paraphrase and leave yeah, out... So that's the key. Yeah. yeah. If you paraphrase and maybe leave out uh, keywords like obituary... Yes. Uh -huh. still it will still highlight them. Yeah, it will still highlight them. That's why I have to use it as a guide. Unfortunately, we are not in our setting. They are not using it as a guide, surely. I had somebody that had published part of her own work. Okay? She's published part of her own before he submitted a thesis. So that means part of the thesis is actually available on the net. Okay? So if you do a scan, you go and highlight those part of it. More than 25%. Because in actual fact, her work has been published. Herself, her work has been published. It's on the net. So it will call you for the match. But <laughs> they are just a percentage. So it is beyond percentage. So you have to come back and then redo in those things and stuff. Yeah. But would they give you the opinion for you to to yeah, argue? You to take them yeah, but uh, will you get the opportunity? Sometimes you don't even get the report. You will report. You don't yeah. even get it. But in natural fact, what elsewhere they are doing is that, like they turn it in and stuff. The students have access to it. Yeah. So the students have access to it. It is supposed that whilst you write, you yeah. put it in there, and you, as the students, it guide you first. So that you do the references that you need to do. You need the references that you need to do. 
before it is what you submit the thesis. But here it is rather being used like a, a punishment. Police. Uh -huh, like a police. <laughs> Rather, for places I've seen, they are using they are using it rather as a police. It's only the what do you call it? The lecturer that have the what do you call the access software, and when you the student finish and do it, and you bring it and you put it there, then you say hi, hey, macho. <laughs> you getting it? Uh, the way sometimes we deliver our models, there are very difficulty. There are a lot of difficulties with. It is rather supposed to aid the students to do the right thing, not to wait for the student to do the wrong thing, and then at the end of the day, you rather make it the, what do you call it, trying to uh, deliver punishment instead of rather being an aid to help the person to prevent doing what you call the wrong thing. So, like, my advice is that there are the three ones there as a student. Use those ones, though they may not score the same, but similarly, oh. they may score the same, uh, virtually similar this thing. So, use the, uh, what do you call it, the Viper or any other free ones. You can search. There is a lot of them that are free. Look at them yourself and then try as much as possible to work the, what do you call, the, the wrong places right before you send it to the policeman <laughs> to inspect mm -hmm. what you have done. Yeah. Sir, can this software or any other software uh, be used to assess a situation where you present a case which has not been researched on and you cited it wrongly because you were saying that we spell our names backwards? Because the idea is that we don't know who to represent, we just did something. Can this do it or any other? Yeah, software? you can use this today. That is, if you have picked something from somewhere and you have referenced wrongly. If the person is interested in checking references, you'll be able to use the teacher because it gives the link to those places. But in a case where you have just written something and you yourself have cooked something and written it, that one, this one will not be able to help. But there are a lot of aids around there. I think uh, there is some reference guide something. We saw something, something yesterday. Uh, uh, cite this for me. Yeah, cite this for me or something, another site. We can check whether the references exist. Okay, so if you have cited somebody, there you can just copy the reference into any database and see whether that reference exists. I get it. That is very easy to do now. Uh -huh. yeah, you don't know whether there's a reference for it. Put it in the software. Uh, uh, that you can just do a Google search. Yeah, you can just search it. Your you know, just like, just like, I can just copy this one, this reference right now. Yeah, if you allow me to. Oh. Because it's a hyperlink. Okay. If you allow me to copy, I've copied things from it before. So I can just copy this one like this. Okay. And then just put it in any quickly and then find out whether it exists or not. Now, almost all scientific papers, journals, are uh, online. Yeah, uh, online. So, almost all our next sample papers. Yeah, so if you say you, you've turned uh, the lab backwards and make it Lela <laughs> or something, you realize as soon as I put this name inside, you realize it has appeared. It has just, are you getting it? Uh huh. So, whatever, when you do an in text citation, you're going to do a bibliography. So you're going to write the names and all those things of whichever thing you are talking about. And you copy them, you should be able to find them. That is the journal you claim it has been published in. You should be able to find it in that journal. My worry is that not all concepts have been researching. There are still ideas that people are going to touch. So it becomes so. Which I doubt. <laughs> yeah, if you have your own concept you are writing, you make it as your person, your own concept. So, like we say, in like we saw somebody analyzing context yesterday. Are you getting it? Yeah. So, in the context of what the person is talking about, right? No, we are not saying that every part of a research edition uh, should be cited, like we said. But when you are writing an introduction, like we did from a scientific communication, and you are saying certain statements of facts, you cannot say that you are saying those things and it is a concept in your head. Even though we must admit that for certain, uh, what do you call it, subject areas, writing some things from your head is accepted, allowed. But if you are doing the scientific communication that we, were, we are talking about, and you are stating facts, then you should have known where the facts are coming from. And that should be backed by, uh, what do you call it, works that have been done, that have brought those particular facts, uh, what do you call it, into uh, reality where you are quoting those facts from here yeah, to be and where you are quoting those from okay but if it's like you are talking about it's a concept it's a conceptualized something you are conceptualizing something so in thesis in certain format thesis they will tell you to write your concept 
in that case you yourself are developing a concept like we are saying if it comes to the methodology part and there is something you want to do nobody will tell you to cite anything this is the method you want to do if the method has already been done and there is a, what you call a citation for you then you can cite that method but when you get to the methodology and you are stating your concept you don't need to cite anybody are you getting it yeah but when you are writing introductions and stuff and you are bringing out uh, what you call statements of facts you have to yeah all right for now we have concentrated on the introduction and the write-up we have no move beyond it so we are at the introduction level hello Hi. yeah so that is that is it for for the plagiarism softwares we have been talking about so you realize it generated a report after scanning and then you can just look at it and then do it but we are saying it's supposed to be what a guide and not a means of what punishment so for other senior colleagues elsewhere uh, <laughs> they should they should they should re rethink. rethink the way they are using the thing they are supposed to help students to be able to do the right thing so if there's a software that is available for them to be able to use they should rather give it to the student access to the student to try whilst writing to use those software to rather write well not rather as a means of punishment when you are finished writing and then so you, anytime you want to say submit a chapter to your supervisor you want to run it through a software a plagiarism software okay so that you wouldn't wait till the last work the final work before he tells you that the work is a plagiarized work <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <being plagiarism. laughs> yeah, as for their work, we will get even 200 <laughs> percent. No, because they are just cutting and pasting. Your, your, your lecturers are gradually getting access to this thing, so you should be careful. So, if you want to search on plagiarism softwares, if you want to check on plagiarism softwares. Our websites that are available. If you search, you get a lot of them. So you see, there is this plagiarism checker, uh, plagiarism software online. There was one that I used to uh, use. What was uh, plagiarismdetect.com? Yeah, there is plagiarismdetect.com. I used to. You copy your thing inside, and it will bring you the the, 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 the So you see, the ten it in we are talking about. Yeah. So this was what I used. I used. I used sometimes uh, some time ago before Viper came. Yeah. So this was what I used before Viper came. Plagiarismdetect.com. That is also on the web. You can you can easily you can easily use that also. I found that also very handy. Uh, you can use it. So you can download demo and then use it as this thing. So if you come to the net is a bit too slow. So there are so many of them there that you can use as a student to try and then scan your work and see where there is need for you to uh, be able to change things and then you can change them so you can take the free demo and then use it as it's a long time i came to these places anyway but you can download this one and then just use their uh, what do you call it and you'll be able to get all right so let's go back to our main business of today we say we are going to do we are concentrating on uh, writing, paraphrasing. paraphrasing. So we have been talking, then you paraphrase, then you paraphrase. Mm -hmm. Let's see whether then you paraphrase is easy to then paraphrase. Okay, right. So let's start with any topic, anything at all. What we're going to do is that we're not going to be, uh, we're just going to go through an exercise today. So everybody, your laptops are on. Those who don't have laptops can have papers. We will just pick you, Mark. <laughs> Those who have laptops can have papers. So we'll pick up a certain portion of any article. Then let's see how easy it is to put it in our own words without changing the actual thing, uh, what do you call it, theme or meaning of that work. Uh, before I forget, I want a handyman. Uh, I listened to one guy and then he mentioned it. Uh, Plenty. Yeah. Uh, I think it's handyman. Okay, handyman. Let's add uh, what do you call it? Paraphrase to it. Just come. Yeah. So handyman paraphrasing. 
yeah so that's it good so there's a small video on it here on youtube you can copy it and just look at how it works but when you get to when you get to the website itself uh this is how the website look like you put your original the original version there yeah so there's a place you put the original version here then you put the new one that you have paraphrased here and then you check the similarities the similarities and things will come here so whichever way you want to uh, do it let's say uh, we are students of this university <laughs> Okay, so that is the original one. Okay, somebody should help us paraphrase this one. <laughs> so, yeah, so how do we rephrase that? <laughs> Students of this university, you are. Okay. <laughs> Let's try and paraphrase this. Let's try and paraphrase this. The university can be a college. Yeah, so look at the words and see how you can you can change them. We are students. I should have make it students, right? We are students of this university. So let's see how we can paraphrase it. Another place to get synonyms is Microsoft Word. Okay, you click on the word, then you go to synonyms, and then you use that zeros. <clears throat> so for this one. You can paraphrase. I'm going to try something out. If you're a student of this university, it means you belong to the student, uh, the university community. So we can say that we belong. But in that case, I see it to be more broader. It means that yes. the vice chancellor to is a student. Yo, no. It's just like somebody saying we are students of this university. Yes. Okay. We belong to this university community. We belong to this, yeah, university community. Okay, so if you do that, you see, when you come down there, have you seen what has happened here? So you see the differences that exist between what you brought and the similarities. So that we are students have been taken out and that has become what belong to this but the university was still maintained that we were still what maintained yeah we study at this institution you can you can you can you can rephrase you see how you can and the meaning you is can the rephrase same. and the meaning is the same you, you get the point i'm making so once you understand what the first one is we are students of this university Okay, and the last is we should put in we are we steady. we steady in this what institution. This is this is this is this is this is even the best. If you are a student in this university, it means you are studying in what in this institution. The university is the institution. Are you getting it? Yes. So you realize that. Once you understand, uh, what do you call it, the, the context of the first communicator, you have been able to rephrase it in your own words. And can you see the matching words that are here? Just two. Just two. So I think it's okay. We, it's okay. Are you getting it? Yeah. So you can use some of these things too. Right. So paraphrasing, as we were talking about, it's not any big deal. It is really when first you should understand the first thing that you have what you have taken the first statement. You should first understand it. You read not just reading, but you read to what to understand what is there. Then now try to reproduce the same thing, but in the same idea that the statement is communicating in your own words, in your own words. Hello. Um. Okay, so this is a very good start. Now let's look at some of them, if we can get them. Oh, internet. Be our friend today. Okay, if the internet will not be our friend, we'll go for the, PDF. the other PDFs that we have picked before, and then we'll use them. Okay.
So you can go to handyman and then look at your phrasing and rephrasing and all that. But then if we are not getting the internet to get new articles like we want to pick, then let's go to our own, the ones that we have picked before, and then try and see if we can rephrase them. So when we put it on there, everybody tried to bring his own version of the rephrasing. Mm. Hello. Today is Brofu Cry. Yeah, today is Brofu's day. So <laughs> let's see what happens with the Brofu. Brofu will cry. Yeah. So we'll start in bits and pieces. We will not actually be doing big, but I, I, it's, big things come in small sizes. So hopefully uh, we'll get it. And this exercise is very important. Like I told you, it is easier to go this way than to. Tell somebody, then you paraphrase, then you paraphrase. <laughs> okay. So now let's see how we can paraphrase this particular one. I'm going to pick it and put it in a Word document. Then we all attempt paraphrasing the, in our own words and see how that works. So we said you can copy things to your trash. And then when you copy them to your trash, then now you paraphrase them and use it to write. So let's see how that will work for us today. We're going through this within the next 30 minutes. Uh, that's what we're going to do. So this is, let's say, a statement we've picked from somewhere. And let's say we have this to paraphrase. Ooh. All right, so let's let's go on. So during the time when the study described here was performed, malaria accounted in Ghana for 32% of all outpatients <coughs> department visits and 40 nine percent hospital admissions in children under five years of age and mobility was about three million cases with four thousand deaths annually so let's see how we can take first you need to read and understand what is going on and then use this to write your own what do you call it words so on that note, can we see? Okay, Fafa. So, okay, so this is Fafa's opinion that this is what she got from the work, uh, the one at the top there. Uh, let's this let's analyze what Fafa has provided. Grace, raise up your hand. Uh, let's my <laughs> okay, Mama, uh, um, uh, how much? Pedraism, will you give to this? Malena accounted for 10 up with underlined zero. Malena Ikara accounted for 32% of all OPD visits and 45 47% of hospital admission in children under five years with mobility of about 3 million. Right. And you say. I think she has just done a summary. She has done a summary. A summary. Actually, a summary. She has. She has. <laughs> yeah, but virtually yeah, she used almost the same words. Almost all the words that you found in yours can be found. Okay, let's try handyman and see with for first work. Okay, let's try handyman with for first work and see. I hope I've not closed that dialogue. Is there? Where is that? Yeah. Let's try handyman with for first one and see. Yeah. Now, first and foremost, you need to understand uh, what the the writer seeks to communicate. Um, you need to understand what the writer seeks to communicate. In this particular instance, what the writer seeks to communicate is that you can even ignore the first part that a particular project work was done, and then at that time of the study this was the statistics that exist now but what if you are not careful you will miss out is that what is happening is that he's trying to say that in children under five in ghana this was the percentage of opd what do you call it uh 
at uh, what do you call it attendance that were considered as having malaria and this were the number of people who were admitted who had what malaria among the admissions that were done so for all opd cases 35 percent for children under five for all opd cases all the people who came to the hospital the outpatient department of the hospital 32 percent of them were of what classified having malaria among the people who were admitted in the hospital okay the hospital admissions for the same under five 40 nine percent of them were of what of the same what malaria then he goes on to say that mobility that is this 30 uh, what do you call it four the 32 percent of people coming to the hospital they will amount to about three million of what do you call uh sicknesses and out of those ones four thousand of them were died yeah. Are you getting it? So this are annual presentation of of something. So let's see with what Fafa has done. You don't need necessarily to communicate every fact that is there anyway, but we are trying to rephrase. So if you understand the the, the the message first, then now you'll be able to write it the any way you want to write it. Are, are you getting it? Yeah. yeah. It's the figures that might not change, but how you want to put them you can put them in so many ways but first you need to understand the communication what the writer wants to say the facts that's what i meant by what synthesizing the word the facts then now you can use it for your communication all right so Fafa, this is what happened what for first work this is what happened hello yeah this is what happened with for first work and you can see there's a lot of coloration in the first word uh, yeah so for giving the chance do you think you could have improved upon what you have done now maxim do you think you could have improved upon what you have done yes you could improve upon what you have done normally first do a draft like he has done what he has done right here is a summary of the idea that is there so this is a first draft that you should have done then now that you understand what the gist of what the communication is now you write it with your own word, words not necessarily using the same account for and all those stuff and things that you see in the word so the first thing is to what do the summary first then secondly use the what you call it, the summary to what to do the writing on your word. i think she deserves a clap at least Okay, uh, who said you wanted to say his second? Uh, who's, who's, who's the <laughs> so let's come from that. <laughs> so this is this is this is what Raj also provide, um, and I mean handyman still. So Raj says that per the above study, OPD and admissions of below five year old kids in Ghana of below five year old kids in ghana were 32 percent and 48 percent respectively while deaths as a result of malaria were four thousand out of an approximate three million reported cases good so he, he decided to even uh try and bring the top parts where that is during the time of this study so he says the above study okay but that will work only if you have mentioned the above study in natural facts okay but if you are taking the facts from this one and using it as your way there part that first part might not even be even necessary because you may not have mentioned the above study or you may want to reference the guy you are is talking about that this is the guy is that but for the sake of just paraphrasing what is there we accept that that part is okay okay so this is what we get from rex's work hello Raj, Raj. Yeah, this is Raj's work. So you, see, so you can see. was quiet, trying to claim the. <laughs> <laughs> so we can see, we can see that in that draft, the outcome for this one, it's 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 quite okay. The only words that are matched are admissions, five years in Ghana. The forty five uh, days, which are you see, they are low key. 
because they are words that you should wear then malaria and then three million you see apart from the actual facts and figures that are there presumably all the other words are coming from uh what do you call it raj himself hello hello Hi. you realize apart from the facts the statistics that exist and then the location the fact that we are talking about ghana you cannot go and use another name for the country okay and then certain things like admissions and we are talking about malaria so those words cannot what cannot change those are no words that you can replace okay some words cannot be replaced you realize that apart from those statistical facts all other words are coming from what do you call it right Raj and, <laughs> and 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 in actual fact i think he deserves a clap he deserve a clap so he has been able to paraphrase he has been able to paraphrase the 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 the, 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 the this thing at the top he has been able to paraphrase the statement at the top we are getting virtually the same meaning from what he has done in his okay the statement at the top is here that was the statement i cut at first okay and this is his and we are getting virtually the same meaning we have not lost meaning but yet apart from the facts that he got from the statement all other things are coming from what from his words Rex challenge hello all right so we will make rex also challenge and then let's see all right so this is what uh 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 ras rex 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 actually provided let's read what rex provided and see whether we have lost meaning the idea is still there and then whether it has been paraphrased enough so malaria records 32 percent of all opd cases in ghana per this study whereas 47 percent of all hospital cases recorded in children under five years was estimated with mobility of four thousand out of three million each year uh -huh. what's your opinion you have made your face <laughs> <laughs> the english was was messed up the english was messed up the way people are, are, are facing it and we, uh, uh, i think a lot of things didn't go that well okay what 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 comment do you want to make on this what comment do you want to make on it hello uh -huh. what comment do you want to make on it the meaning is not there the meaning is not there. There are. What's what's your comment on this? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, right. If you have anything, let's hear you. Like it's like you give the mobility. The values for the movie ten, the deaths to children, uh -huh. children uh -huh. instead of the whole cases. Yeah. For example, the first part here is misleading. This one means different from what the top one is communicating. <laughs> Malaria records thirty-two percent of all OPD cases in Ghana, but the statement at the top there is attributing it to under five years. Are you getting it? It is rather OPD, that is OPD cases who are under five that had that particular record, not for all admissions in Ghana. So this one actually takes everything out. It it, it misleads uh, with the facts. Then the other parts as you come uh, along with it, whereas 45% of all hospital cases recorded in children under five years were estimated with mobility that one too also it's also another misrepresentation it was rather admissions not hospital case recorded if you look at it that is where it says that what this admissions admissions are different from hospital cases hospital cases include opd everything i get it so you've lost the mini by trying to paraphrase this Admission. test. Yes, it's admissions. The statistics. Cases. Yeah. Case cover both Admission. OPD and admissions. Uh, yeah. So just admissions, those that were detained in the hospital, admitted. Not those that came, got treatment and left. Those are what you call it 
the outpatient, they just came, they were not admitted. But if you are admitted, it means you stay in the hospital for a while. Mm-hmm. Are you getting it? You put on bed. Okay, so the meaning is lost, but it may be by virtue of uh, technicality, like I'm saying. So you really, really understand the locus, yeah, the locus as to some of those things. So you'll be pardoned for that. Uh, even with that, with that still, we can see that the matching, the matching wouldn't have been much of a problem because it's only the facts that are matching. So we'll move on to the next person. Uh, we take two more people. And then <laughs> why would you want to be the last person? Why would you want to be the last person? Why would you want to be the last person? <laughs> okay, so this is what we have as the original. During the time when the study described here was performed, malaria accounted in Ghana for 32% of all outpatient outpatient department visits. And 49% hospital admissions in children under five years of age. And mobility was about 3 million cases with 4,000 deaths annually. And then Blessing has done her paraphrasing. And this is how it reads. The period when this work was conducted, malaria recorded 32% cases and 49% of which were children below the age of 5, while casualties were about 3 million and deaths about 4,000 annually. Okay, your face. Your face, what do you have to say about it? That's your name. Is your face clear or you are still <laughs> having a face that does not get you? It doesn't really talk about what it is. It doesn't really represent the communication that has that has been done. Why? Because you said the period when this work was conducted, malaria recorded thirty two percent cases of which way. So she's trying to say it's only the 49% which were the children below. Yeah, the age. from the from the way the, the phrase has been done. What it means is that in during that period, 32% of cases were malaria. And then 49% yet I get an out of the 32 was was at a but in actual fact, what the communication was that outpatient where what do you call it 32 percent and then admissions were 49 percent for the same children under five years so for the children under five years in ghana at the time the uh what do we call the study was conducted 32 percent of children under five years that came for opd had malaria and then 49 percent of children under five years that were admitted were suffering from what malaria. That is how that is that is the communication. I are, are you getting it? Yeah. yeah. So the first part, the meaning was lost a little. Then let's go to the second part also. Inas, you are laughing. No. What do you say about the second part? <laughs> 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 okay, Adam, what do you say about the second part? The second part, whilst casualty were about 3 million and deaths about 4,000 years. Wow. Yes, your face. Do you have that or do your face clear or not? Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you look at the face and the face is shining, yeah. that means that it is okay. Yeah, if it is not, that means there is a problem. Wow. What do you have to say about the uh, what do you call? I'm enjoying this. What do you have to say about the second part? I don't know if the word casualty there. Mm-hmm. It's appropriate. You don't think the word casualty there is appropriate. I don't know because I've not checked it. So I don't understand. Yeah. What the, what does casualty means? We normally hear them when there is a road traffic accident. Then. It's like someone injured or something. Yeah, casualty can be anything. It can be death. Mm. Casualties can be death. So sometimes if you are finding synonyms, okay, 
look at their appropriateness in the context in which you are putting them. It can be lost. Yeah, it can be lost. Are you getting it? Don't forget the meaning of a word is found in a sentence. Hello? Hi. The meaning of a word is found in a what? In a sentence, not when it is standing alone. So when you are putting them in a sentence, be careful where you put them. So for example, in this particular case, when you use the word casualties, uh, the word casualties in natural fact is not so appropriate for this particular instance. Because casualties, you want to look at it as those that reported with what sicknesses, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, even though sicknesses could be casualties to malaria, but deaths are also casualties to malaria. And in actual fact, we use the death casualty thing more than when the person just has the, the disease. So it becomes death, death. I hope you are getting it. Yeah. So that is the bit of the parts at that place that uh, it becomes a little ambiguous. I don't know that the second part was quite okay. <laughs> then you want to look at it in terms of word match. If you want to look at it in terms of word match, this also happened with word match. Okay, so with a word match, we are all doing very well with a word match because, yeah, the word match we are doing very well because we are picking only the statistics from the word from the previous uh, the original statement and trying to use our own word. So, for the word match, we are all doing well with it, except that the meanings are getting lost. So, you should watch it that you don't paraphrase somebody's work, okay, and at the end of the day, the meaning becomes different like we are seeing here so that is where we have to watch first you are actually taking the meaning that is the idea is what you are communicating in your own words but you should be careful that your communication does not make the meaning get what lost but a word match we are doing very well i think if we scan this with viper we will get zero <laughs> yes we will get zero because the word match it, it's it's far 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 low as we can see at handyman the word match is far 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 low all right. Hello. Hi. Okay, let's take the very last one. Who will, do we say we are going to take the last yes. one from? I, I wish you uh, the last one. She has really come to <laughs> Okay, so so this is what this is what the Lord give us. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. <laughs> Okay. All right. This is what the Lord gives us as a, as a paraphrase for the ones that we are seeing at the top there. In Ghana, malaria recorded one out of every three OPD cases. One half of the ten cases among infants between the ages of zero to five. Yes. Zero to five years, right? You didn't bring the years. Okay. Thank you. Zero to five. With associated mobility, with associated mobility of approximately three million, weight, four thousand human deaths, as of the time of this study. All right, let me look at my face. You are smiling. It means you like it. <laughs> okay, Papa, what do you think about this one? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about this one? <laughs> it's good because hello, hello. It's good because she didn't actually bring the figures. She tried to get fraction. Does the meaning changes? We are having the same meaning. Yes. Yeah. You see, this is what we mean by synthesizing the facts. So, if 32%... <laughs> yeah, 32%, 32% is approximately a third, doesn't it? And that is good. Then the, what do you call it, the 47%, 49% is almost a half, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. So that is it means she really understand what she was doing. Okay? That is really really impressive. Seriously. That is impressive. So you see, you see how you can push yourself. It's it's just a matter of trying. It's it's not so difficult as you think. Uh but I would have wished that some of the phrases would have been written better. For example, putting the infants 
this thing and that here would have been uh, if you have brought it earlier it would have sound better let's say in ghana malaya recorded malaya recorded one out of every three opd cases of infants between the ages of this then you may bring maybe among admissions of this same group one out of or one out of every detain of this same year group was this the, the, the I, I get in it. <laughs> so the detain, the detain. In order to clarify the detain, in order to clarify the detain, you could have done hospital detain. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that uh, the issues that are going around us not really, really, really taken over. So, <laughs> so one half. Instead of saying one half, you could have also said just half. I think one half looks a little bit, but it's not wrong. But half of all hospital detained cases of this year group, I get in it, were out of what? Malaria cases. But this side, then he goes on to this side. I think where we are bringing the half, we should put about because it's kind of uh, yes, thing. yes, approximation yes about a half. That would be cool. Ninety nine is almost mm -hmm. about a half. That's okay. So with associated mobility of approximately three million, with four thousand human deaths as of the time the study was conducted. I, I think it's it, it, it's a very good way. It, it's a very good. Way. He, she deserves another clap. She deserves another clap. Yeah, I think I think this one has supersedes uh, Reg Reg Reg. Oh, Reg also did very well. Reg did very well. Reg did very well. Someone is making a, a yeah. Last part says annually. Uh huh. But you don't see the annually. Uh huh. It says annually. Okay. Okay. So there should be something here saying. Yeah. There was per There was per annum. I didn't write it. Okay. Per annum. Human there's per annum. Okay. All right. So there should be per annum. At the end, Rex did well for discovering him <laughs> as of the time of the steady run. Okay, so this makes it this makes it better. So you see, you see, you see what we mean. Take the thing, synthesize the facts, then write it with your own word. Words. Hello, hello. Yeah. So it is possible, isn't it? It is possible. First, you need to understand what is being stated. Make sure you synthesize the facts out of it. Then you use your own words in writing. So let's look at the match words again. So the match words, apart from the things that could not be replaced, like we say, malaria could not be replaced, yeah? We just have it. But mobility could have been replaced, but I don't think it is too much for it being here. As for hospital, what do you replace hospital with? <laughs> Clinic, <laughs> health center, <laughs> health facility. Okay, <laughs> so okay, okay. Instead of instead of instead of hospital cry, you could have put facility detained cases. Yeah, I think that even sounds nice. Facility detained cases sounds nicer than hospital, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, facility. Uh, facility detain, facility detain cases. So we can change that one. Yeah. <laughs> health facility. Okay, they say it should be health. They say it should be health facility. So let's put it there. Yeah, health facility. Yeah. So you see, you see, if you want to use, if you want to use this handyman thing, after you have done the first draft. It can highlight the places for you. Mm -hmm. Then the ones you can still rephrase without changing the meaning. You can still do that. Absolutely. I hope you are getting it. Okay. Yeah, you can still rephrase without without necessarily uh, changing the meaning. Are you getting it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if they use death, you can use mortality. So the last one, uh, one. We could change this one and use mortality. No, it's okay as it stands. But if there are still some words you can co-change, you could still change them and make them look your own. 
Are you getting it? Yeah. yeah. So the idea of this is that it will highlight the unique words for you, the match words for you. Then you could rephrase the match words and then you use them. So you polish them up and you realize I've told you, you don't write just one and leave it there. The best even thing is that when you write the first draft, you leave it. The following day, you come back to it and you realize that sometimes you'll be shocked that some of the things that you have written, you ask yourself, am I the one who even wrote this? Yeah. So, so we can do rephrasing. And I'm very happy. You want to go? <laughs> you want to go for another round? But unfortunately, unfortunately, the time is not. The time is not on our side. Uh, the time is not on our side. Yeah. You see, it's coming interesting. So, yeah, eight parts of you don't know. Yeah. Okay. So what we do that? The last one we take it at assignment and bring it tomorrow. So let's just copy something and bring it tomorrow. We are putting it. We are taking something and then we'll bring it tomorrow. Hello. Yeah. Because because there have been an interesting class today. Uh, we are taking something and then we'll bring it tomorrow. Let me take something that will be difficult to rephrase. <laughs> okay. So let's see. <laughs> All right, here. Yeah. Let's take this one. Let's take this one. Okay. So let's take this one. Uh for our virtual audience and or oh, you also try and do it like an assignment and then see what best how best you can also do. So this is what we are we are taking now. We are taking this. Yeah. Okay, so try and rephrase the one at the top there in your own words. Tomorrow, God willing, when we come, that will be the first thing that we will do. So Ghana is implementing a malaria control program with the aim of reducing malaria mobility and mortality by 75% by the year 2015 in line with the Millennium Development Goal. MDG. Which is now what? <laughs> so, you have picked something like this. So, everybody can put it down. Once you put it down, and then we will actually look at how well we can rephrase this thing tomorrow, God willing. So, thank you for, 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 for coming today. We'll end the lecture today. <laughs>